Hello, my name is Keith Bailey, here to do my picks for NFL Week 16. Without further ado, let's get started. Thursday nighter, Tennessee at Jacksonville. I'm picking the Jaguars in this game because that D-line is going to have its way with a banged-up offensive line. A healthy D-line at that. And Charlie Whitehurst doesn't stand a chance. I wouldn't be surprised if our punter ended up being a quarterback in this game because they keep knocking out our quarterbacks with injuries. Um, I think the Jags win 23-17 to over Tennessee. Um, and I think Tennessee ends up in last place in the AFC South. Eagles at Redskins, picking the Eagles. Eagles are not going to lose three straight games, especially to a team like the Redskins. Granted, although it's in Washington, uh, Philadelphia is too good of a team to lose three in a row. I think the Eagles take it 30-26. to 26. I think Washington keeps it close. Chargers at 49ers. This is an interesting game because both of these two teams are on a two-game losing streak. But I'm going to go with the 49ers on this one. I think they take it 27-24 to 24 over San Diego. I like the Chargers. But the 49ers, I don't see finishing the season with a losing record. I think they're going to go 8-8. Eight and eight. And San Diego, I think, is going to... One of these two teams is going to lose three in a row regardless. And I think it's going to be San Diego. Vikings at Dolphins. I have... Dolphins on upset alert, but I'm picking them. I'm picking Miami to win 28-27 uh, to 27 over Minnesota. The Vikings have played very good for Mike Zimmer all season long. Mike Zimmer has proven that he is more than well-deserving of the head coaching job in the NFL, and I think the Vikings are going to be dangerous next year. Um, I think that the Dolphins get the win, though. Ravens at Texans. I was going to pick Houston in this game until Ryan Fitzpatrick went down with a broken leg. In which case, I have to pick the Ravens here. There's no way the Texans are going to win again. And I think Jacksonville may get them in week 17 as well. Um, I think the Ravens get the game 30-10 to 10 over, over the Texans. Lions at Bears. I'm... I'm picking the Lions, but I just got this. I have this feeling in my mind right now that I don't know Chicago. I mean, it looks like a gimme. I'm sticking with Detroit, but I have this game on like high alert, upset alert, high alert. I would not be surprised if Chicago wins. I will go back in this video if the Bears win, and I will be like, I had a feeling I should have went with it. But I'm gonna pick the Lions. Uh, 19 to 18. That's how close I think it's gonna be. I don't know. Just nagging feeling that this game is going to be very, very close, and the Bears might even win. I feel like the Bears are way too overdue for a win at this point in the season. But we'll see what we'll see what happens. Next game: Browns at Panthers. I'm picking the Panthers. My dad is a big Browns fan. He said he was so happy to see Johnny Manziel get shut out. He said that hopefully it's going to humble him. He said he hopes he gets shut out again and again because he wants this kid to build character because he said, quote, it's a man's game and he needs to learn that. So he wants him to get a face full of turf every single play. And that's why I love my dad, you know. He's a Browns fan and he's the most loyal guy out there, but in terms of long-term success for his team, he'll root against him. Um, I think the Panthers win, though, 28-20 uh, to 20 over Cleveland. I think Johnny Manzo will put up points against the poorest Panthers defense, but I think Carolina will come away, come away with a win. Falcons at Saints. I'm picking the Saints. They're going to break their home losing streak against Atlanta. They're not going to get swept by Atlanta. Uh, I think the Saints take it 26 to 24. Um, they get the seven and eight. You might see the Saints end up eight and eight this year. To be honest, I mean, let's see what happens. Um, but yeah, I have the Saints winning. Packers at Buccaneers, easy win. Picking the picking the Packers to win 41 to 13 over Tampa Bay. Um, Packers will respond after a very tough loss against the Bills. Next game, Chiefs at Steelers. I'm picking Kansas City. I I keep saying it week in and week out that the Steelers are due for a loss. 
And I think this is the week where they're going to have that loss. I think this is the week where the Kansas City Chiefs are going to come in. They're going to beat that team to beat the Steelers. And Kansas City starts to insert itself a little more into playoff contention because they had fallen out of the picture for a while. Um, but I think the Chiefs get the win here, 27-24. to 24. Patriots at Jets, give me a break. I think the Patriots are going to mop the floor with New York. Uh, don't think it's going to be close at all. I actually think the Patriots are going to win. I'm going to go and say 55-10. to 10. I don't even think it's going to be close. Um, that's, I mean, I really think so. Um, Giants at Rams. I'm picking St. Louis. They had extra time to prepare, and they halt the Giants winning streak. St. Louis Rams, I think, are, I think they're a quarterback away from being in contention for the Super Bowl. I really think that. They're a decent quarterback away. They really are. They're a very tough team to beat, and I think they're going to beat the Giants 31 to 17. Bills at Raiders. Bills keep their uh, playoff hopes alive here. I think the Bills get this win here, and they get a winning record for the first time since 04. They get the win here. Uh, I think the Raiders are going to keep it close. 28-23 to 23 will be your final score. Colts at Cowboys. I'm picking the Colts because I've learned one thing. Regardless of the circumstances, you don't bet against Andrew Luck. And I, I have to give the Cowboys credit. I have been very critical of them. So I'm going to give them credit. I counted them out the last two games. They proved me wrong, and I was wrong about Dallas. I say, I'll say that. That being said, I'm not entirely sold on them in December. Not entirely. The Colts are a tough team just because they're the Colts and they have Andrew Luck. I think the Colts will win. Cowboys will keep it close. Uh, Colts go into Jerry's world and they get the win 30-28. Over the Cowboys. Um, Seahawks at Cardinals. I am so sorry, Arizona. Losing your quarterbacks has got to be tough, especially the miracle season you guys have had. But i got to pick the Seahawks here. Ryan Lindley is going to get eaten up. And I feel so bad for the Cardinals organization because of the success they've had this year. If the Cardinals win this game, I will be thoroughly surprised. And I will be very happy for them. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think the Seahawks take it 20 to 10 over the Arizona Cardinals. And last game, Broncos at Bengals. It's a tough game to pick, but I gotta pick Denver. I mean, 31 to 30. I have a lot of close games this weekend. The Broncos are the Broncos. They don't normally lose more than three games with Peyton Manning at the helm. And the Bengals are about as wishy-washy a team as you can think of. So, those are my picks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, guys. Merry Christmas to everyone.